to the water Where you will find peace Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain While well, taking in the view You will find the life is And welcome to my YouTube channel. So this afternoon, as you've probably seen in the footage earlier, it's uh, quite a lot of snow driving up and I'm up here at Glenmore at Loch Morlick near Aviemore. So I'm here for a couple of days. Um, I'm actually with the Stirling Camera Club and we're going away tomorrow to look at shooting some wildlife and on Sunday morning, so hopefully we'll be able to catch some footage of the next couple of days, but tonight when I get here I was kind of hoping to get a sunset <laughs> but I suppose that's a wee bit optimistic in Scotland at this time of year especially after the snow so we are getting speckles of snow just now I'll turn round and you can see the beach so this is Loch Morlick the highest beach in the UK so what I'll do is I'll walk closer to the shoreline and we'll look for some compositions and see if we can get some images tonight to film this two folk have just jumped in the law and they've been like a snowstorm <laughs> so they're as crazy as us but I think they're crazier goodness knows if they'll last very long because it is absolutely freezing. Well, we've picked an absolute extreme weekend to come away. We're, Kenny's just standing over there. We're right in the middle of a snowstorm. But I've got a wee composition. The sun's just disappeared behind one of the clouds. So what I'll do is I'm just going to do a quick exposure compensation. Because um, the wind is really starting to drive the snow. And it's getting really, really strong. So... I'll see if this image works. Right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to see. I have no idea because of the snow how this is actually going to work. It's just it hit us all of a sudden. Um, so what I might do now, I might actually just take a, a wider image of the beach while I'm here because my face is absolutely stinging with the cold. So I'm just going to focus in to the centre again I'll take three exposures because it's so dark but the, the snow is coming in so fast I can see Kerry's hiding, hiding up here in the trees and in the bushes that's actually quite nice what would be quite nice is there's some seaweed or grass lying on the edge of the shore and the way that the snow's coming in, the snow's kind of hitting the edge of the sand. So what I'll do is I'm going to lower the camera and just see if there's any kind of abstract shots that we can get because at the moment there's absolutely no chance of getting a shot that way because the snow's far too heavy and it's coming straight out of our face. I'm just going to bend down here and use the profile of the beach. I'm just going to increase my shutter speed to uh, 13 seconds. I've got Alan walking up towards us, so that'll be good um, to get some kind of scale, but also I had a wee bit of interest in something that's a wee bit otherwise an absolute haze. And as he walks up, he's starting to look a bit like a snowman because the snow, the snow's actually really, really sticky. So, right, I'm going to move on. Right, so as we're walking along the beach, 
spotted these Scots pines getting absolutely covered in snow just now. So what we're trying to do is earlier when Alan was walking along the beach and I was taking shots, using Alan as kind of scale. An unpaid model. An unpaid model as Alan says. Um, the snow was kind of smoothed out because it wasn't a fast shutter speed. So what I'm doing is I'm trying a ISO 640 F14 F3.5 and oh wow my highlights are blown way out. I'm going to try and tweak it up the way. I'll go to a thousand. I'll reduce my F stop to 2.8. I'll drop my ISO down to a thousand. I'll take that shot. And that's quite nice, so I'm starting to get some snowdrops. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to change the composition because I want to get more and more of the, the Scots pines that are in front of me. And at the moment, the composition I've got, I'm trying to use, I've got a tunnel going through the centre of the image, but I'm just going to turn the camera around and a portrait, and I'm going to see if I can get a full-size image and then take my shot. So I'm still using a thousandth of a second shutter speed, ISO 1000 and f2.8. And that actually could be quite a nice shot. I think the snow's started to slow down. Yeah. It has and it's clearing. So I think we'll move back a wee bit here and try and get another shot. Well, well before I do that, I've spotted another Scots pine that looks actually really nice. So I'll just take that shot. Second, oh that's nice because it just freezes the blobs of the snow that's actually coming in. So that could be quite a nice shot. Right, so now to move round and see if we can get more images. Right, as I'm walking along the shoreline, oh, it's an absolute whiteout on the other side of the lock there. So I'm out of puff because we try to run round because it's starting to clear up here on the left hand side. So on the west. So I'm just going to. Um, there's a tree that I've got in front of me here that could make quite a nice leading line so I'm going to reduce my settings and I'm going to up my f-stop to f8 and I'm going to have to do multiple exposures here because it's too dark and there's no I can't use filters because the filters aren't going to work because they'll just be covered in snow so I'm going to have to rely on the exposure compensation so I can get a bright image, a normal image, an underexposed image and then bring the three together to give me what I would like to try and achieve if I had filters on. But there's no point putting filters on because with all the heavy snow that's going on just now it would just be crazy and I'd be forever trying to clean them and every time I cleaned them and came back I'd need to clean them again. Right so I've got that shot, what I might do is try that image in portrait mode that could turn out to be quite a nice image but while I'm here what I've spotted is at the side of the beach all the roots of the trees are being covered with the snow so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera around lower the camera and see if I can use the beach edge as a leading line and capture the textures of the roots with the snow on them. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm focusing in on these roots here at the edge of the water. What I'm going to try and do is, because we've still got a lot of snow, I'm going to zoom in. It's quite difficult to get a composition that... Ah, oh, that's much better. Um, when I set the composition up at portrait because I've then got a leading line of the roots right along the edge 
of the beach. So I'm just going to tilt this upwards a bit, just to heighten the composition, and then we'll see how that image turns out. What I might do is a quick exposure compensation while I'm here, and then I'll take that shot. Right, so that could be quite nice. So what I'm going to do now is just walk further along the beach and see if there's any more compositions that we can use as the snow starts to ease. If I turn round, you might be able to get a kind of 360 degree view of where I am and over here, over there is the ski hire centre and that's the largest section of the beach but you can see the snow and the hills behind it so what I'm doing now is I'm just walking along the edge of the water um, to the very edge of the point here to see if we can get a different um, composition and you never know, I might get quite a nice sunnish set shot but Loch Morlick Beach has got quite a lot of history around it because this beach and the loch was used for World War II commando training and the Norwegian Special Forces come over to train here uh, during World War II and it's said that if you pick up clusters of sand from the beach and if you find shards of glass then those shards of glass aren't modern and they're not from visitors or recent visitors it's predominantly glass from the bottle grenades that the Norwegian Special Forces made and used along the coastline as part of their training. So it's a huge history here, the great place in history for World War II. So I'm just coming to the edge of the point and straight in front of me, over there there's a really nice light in the corner so what I'll do is I'll keep walking and we'll look for a nice area where we've got a nice composition and we'll take some shots okay so we found this uh, tree stump the roots of a dead tree lying here at the edge of the lock so what I might do is take a shot I'm going to do a close up of the tree, I'll just level that off, I'll zoom in, I'll take my shot, but what I'll have to do, that's the snow starting to come back on again, we had a little lull for a second, but now it's back, right, so I've taken a few exposure compensation, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom closer towards the tree, and I'll get a close up shot, I'll zoom in, I've got f11 13th of a second ISO 50 and I'm using the exposure compensation but I'm getting five images out of this exposure compensation and then what I'm going to do is I'll work my way around because I've got my wellies on I'll see how deep that water is because there's a small river coming into the loch here and there's a couple of trees that are lined with the snow so that could make an interesting shot even though we've lost the light now so I'll take one or two more shots before we go back to the van. Right, so I've just I was going to walk round the, the extra part of the shoreline but I've 
kind of lost the light, so I've seen... Oh, I've just pressed the button by mistake. I was going to use this side of the tree stump that we were taking shots of earlier because it's actually lined with uh, snow and what I can do is I can get the... If I increase my legs so I've got separation between the top of the tree root and the river I can then position it so that I've got the river in my composition. So I'll put the tree stump in the, the bottom left hand side I will zoom in. I feel as though I'm rushing here because it's absolutely freezing. And I'm going to nip back to the van. Right, so I've got quite a nice wee shot actually. I'm just going to do a quick exposure compensation. I can feel the wind picking up through the water because it's lipping over the back of my wellies. Right, so that's, that's a nice shot. Right, I'm going to walk. There's a little beach over there. So what I'll do is I'll walk over at that beach and then take a shot down the way because the snow's getting more and more, getting stronger and stronger. All right, so I've just come over to this little beach area. Those trees in front of me that's sticking out in front of the river. I've focused in on the trees. I've got ISO 200 F11 in half a second. It's actually quite a nice. Sure, I'm just going to do a quick exposure compensation and then I can see the snowstorms coming in really really thick now so I'm going to actually start heading back because it's getting quite uh, it's getting quite precarious so what I'll do is I'll just quickly turn the camera around and see if I can get a shot and I'll use the tree root in my composition I'll focus in, I'll have to focus into infinity and oh wow that's, it's getting really really cold so I'll take a shot, ISO 200 F11 eighth of a second and the beach on the other side of the loch is pure white so I'm just going to check this image oh that's quite nice right so I'll finish off here, so I'm going to head back to the van, so just in case I'm going to end the video here, if I do get other images as I walk back, because the snow's getting heavier and heavier, I'll add them in and you'll be able to see them now. I'm going to end the video here, so thanks very much for watching, I really hope the images have turned out, I hope we've caught the atmosphere of all this heavy snow, if you like it please give it a thumbs up, if you haven't subscribed please do because you know it's free, and if you press the bell notification that will notify you the next time I post a video, <laughs> so thank you from a very heavy snowy Loch Morlick, and here's to the next video.